As we continue to look at who is HHCA beyond the academic piece, today we want to focus a little bit on fine arts and athletics. As we said, the, the school is basically made up of three legs. It's academics, which is the core, but it's fine arts and athletics because sports and performances allow kids to bond in a way that is unique and is special and enables them to grow and use their gifts in a way that we want to make sure we're focused on and committed to. And as the school has grown in the last few years, I'm excited to say so of our programs. From a fine arts side, we've been able to really grow down into the lower school on a deeper level of the different types of offerings the number of performances at a high school level have continued to grow, the number of opportunities from jazz bands to glee clubs to all sorts of different elements have continued to expand it. and with that is our faculty. Again, as I flash back five years ago, we had three part-time or two part-time, three full-time faculty. As I think about where we're at next year, we'll have one part-time, six full-time and the goal of that is to hire excellent people that are passionate about what they do, that are committed to what they do, and that will continue to be able to grow your children as they pursue those endeavors that really catch their heart. And fine arts is one area where that definitely happens. With that, our budget has grown and has continued to move forward because we wanna be investing in what your kids love so that their experience continues to be transforming for them. The other area as we think about future plans is athletics. We have an amazing opportunity in athletics to continue to move forward. And over the last couple of years, we've seen it. Our teams have won numerous state championships. We've continued to grow up programs, fill in JV teams. And, and ultimately the reality and the way I like to say this is we don't wanna become a school that just wins trophies. We don't wanna just make a school or a team or a, you know, a small piece here and there where we, we win a trophy. What we wanna create is a championship culture. We wanna build an actual culture in which kids are taught to be young men and women who are excellent in what they do, who have character in what they do, who are able to win. We love winning, we don't wanna hide that. But at the same time, we wanna win in a way that is more about winning and growing the student than it is about getting a trophy that will sit on a shelf. And with that, we've invested heavily. You know, our, our athletic department has gone from four full-time people to six full-time people and one part-time person. The growth in the program when it comes to the actual teams has continued to expand out. The financial investment from five years ago, we were at about $130,000. This upcoming year will be over $300,000 of specific investment into our athletics. And the plans are continuing to move forward. We're excited about where we are now. The new campus has been, to say a blessing would be an understatement. To have the facilities and, and the different things that we have at our disposal for our students to use on a daily basis is amazing. And we will continue to grow those. There's also different programs at a high school level. We're gonna continue to expand out the fine arts offerings to try to get more kids involved and give them more chances at a athletic level you know as we think about future programs anything from lacrosse to softball to track and field there are a number of those programs that we're we're on the cusp of starting and continuing to grow as our student body grows in the athletic and fine arts world I often get asked how, how are things funded or how can I get involved and one of the things that I love about our school is we have a robust booster program and the fine arts boosters, the athletic boosters, each year they sell sponsorships, parking spots, signage, whatever it might be. But the purpose of that is not just to pour money in. We, we have, as I said, large budgets for those programs, but the goal of that funding is to go to above and beyond projects. And we have had so many gracious people over the years jump in at a booster level and help lead. The bigger part of it is each year we look at our strategic plan and we look at the big projects that are going on and we look at each sport or each fine arts element and we ask strategically what are the most important things that we need to be focusing on for the student experience that are above and beyond what our budget offers. Our budget supplies the needs for the sports and the weekly things, uh, same on the fine arts side. There are a lot of different things we've done over the years, but the goal has been to use those funds to grow those programs and at the same time, not touch our Dream Big Fund, which is our annual fund, which is a yearly thing that we do to supplement our budget. And so that's where those funds come from. God has given us so much and again going back to what we want to be able to do as a school we want to be good stewards of the resources he's given us and, and at this point when I look at where we are from five years ago what I see is one we've been blessed with incredible people that have led these programs and grown them and really taken them to a whole nother level 
and that your students are interacting with on a daily basis. But I've also seen God bless us with facilities and finances to continue to build those out. And part of that building them out is not just about having great facilities, but it's about providing your students opportunities. And it's going to be an exciting couple of years ahead as we see God continue to grow our fine arts and our athletics.